What's up guys, Johnny May here and welcome to this week's quick tip where I'm going to teach you how to create a sense of mystery or wonder when you're playing your keyboard. Now sometimes when you're playing your piano, you want to create kind of a mood, right? And so how do you create that mysterious mood or that sort of wonderful mood? Well the way to do this is to play two chords in your left hand and one scale in your right hand and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you both of these plus how to improvise beautiful mysterious lines over these chords. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, if you want to create a sense of mystery and wonder, here are the two chords that will create this feeling. They're very simple to play. The first chord is a C minor chord. Very, very easy. C, E flat, and G. The second chord is an F major chord. So it's C, F, and A. Okay, now I know these are very simple chords, but it's what you do with them that will create that beautiful, magical sound. Right? I was able to play all of that with just these two chords. So you need to understand what to do with these chords in order to create this sound. All right, the first thing I want to teach you is what I call the mystery progression. This is just a very simple way of playing these chords, but creating that beautiful sound using a technique I love called interval rocking. Now before I teach you this technique, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm rocking the chord in my right hand and arpeggiating the chord in my left hand, okay? So check out our first position. We have a C minor in our left hand like this. We have a bigger C minor chord in our right hand like this. My left hand is simply going up the chord. Bottom, middle, top, middle, top, middle, top, middle. That's the pattern. And the right hand is doing this beautiful technique called interval rocking. It's basically where I take a big chord, a four note chord, and I think of each note as a voice of the chord. So the top note is voice one, voice two, voice three, and voice four. And I rock the voices. I do voices one and three against voices two and four. You see what's happening? So it's like this kind of a sound. Okay, interval rocking. When you put the hands together, get this idea, okay? It's really nice. And then you could do this on your F chord. Okay, really beautiful. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just doing the same technique. I'm rocking these notes on the F major chord and in the right hand, I'm doing this interval rocking. And basically the interval rocking means that we have two sets of intervals. We have a sixth interval and a sixth interval. So again, we're just rocking those voices like this, okay? So once again, if you wanna play these chords in a beautiful chord progression, try it like this, okay? Now, if you're a little more on the intermediate side, you can jump down to the roots like this. You can play kind of a bigger C minor chord like this. Right? And then on the F, you can play a bigger F major chord just like this, all right? So that's the chord progression. Uh, let's go ahead and play this with the backing track, and then I'm gonna teach you how to improvise over these chords. All right, here we go. Okay, really, really beautiful. Now, by the way, the backing track and the sheet music you're seeing on the top left of the screen is downloadable at pianowithjohnny.com. We also have smart sheet music, which allows you to change the key of this entire lesson with a click of one button. So you can practice this in any key. I'll put a link to all of that below. All right, are you ready to improvise over these two chords? If you wanna improvise over these two chords, there's only one scale that you need to know. It's called your C Dorian scale, okay? The, the scale scale goes like this. Okay, basically all of the notes that I just played come from one scale of only seven notes. The scale is C, D, E flat, that's the middle finger on E flat, then I go thumb on the F, then I go two finger on G, third finger on A, fourth finger on B flat, okay? That is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And with these seven notes, you can create a ton of beautiful lines, which is what we're gonna talk about next. Now, before we move on and I teach you how to create beautiful lines with this scale, I do recommend that you practice this scale up and down the piano. So you might wanna go up two octaves on the scale, Come all the way up to the C, 
and then you can come down developing some speed. All right, so now you're ready to actually start improvising lines. And the first note value that I recommend that you use if you want to improvise is your eighth note. gorgeous. So basically I'm just using these seven notes, but I'm playing an eighth note pattern and our eighth note is one and two and three and four and basically with the eighth notes I'm just matching my left hand and if you're more on the beginner side I would just start with maybe the first five notes of the scale and try to make up some lines just with these five notes. See that? In my left hand, I'm playing the same left hand pattern that I taught you for that mystery chord progression. Now the key with playing beautiful lines is to leave little gaps in between your lines. So make sure to leave little pauses every time you play a line. Now, if you have a little more experience playing the piano, you can move up and down the keyboard through multiple octaves. Here's how I might play a solo with eighth notes. Okay, let's go ahead and play this with the backing track. little run up the piano. Isn't that gorgeous? And again, I'm just playing the notes from that C Dorian scale. Now before I teach you the next technique, if you guys are enjoying this course, I do recommend that you check out our pop progressions and improv course over at pianowithjohnny.com where I teach you a bunch of beautiful contemporary chord progressions and we do a deep dive on how to improvise over them. All right, the next harmony we're gonna talk about is the sixth harmony. Gorgeous, okay? And basically what I'm doing now is I'm taking the notes from my scale, this C Dorian scale, and I'm doing sixth intervals on each of the notes, okay? So I might start here with the C on the top, E flat on the bottom, and then just come up the notes of the scale. So I have D and F, I have E flat and G, I have F and A, I have G and B flat, I have A and C, and then B flat and D. So what I did is I just harmonized the scale in sixths, okay? And the cool thing is that each of these sixths works over both of the chords in the left hand, okay? So here's an example of a line that you could create using sixths. Gorgeous, okay? So experiment using six. And again, if you're more on the beginner side, just pick three sets of notes like that. One, two, three, and just practice some lines on each of these three. So a lot of really fun things you can do. All right, the final technique I wanna teach you is the turn technique. I love this sound. That sound amazing. What I'm doing is I'm starting with one of the notes of the scale, like E flat, and then I turn off the note below it. So I start on the D, I strike the D, and I turn up and then down to C. Okay, that's a basic turn. Okay, here it is really slowly so you can see the rhythm. Okay, and then you can do this on the on the F chord. Does that make sense? Okay, and you can do this anywhere on the piano. You can do this on the B flat. All right, let's improvise some lines using turns. Let's do 
some six. Run down the piano. All right, my friends, this concludes this week's quick tip. And if you enjoyed this lesson, I want to encourage you to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 800 step by step lessons in pop, contemporary, jazz, blues improvisation, theory, technique. It is the full learning platform for all playing levels. Also be sure to check out the Piano with Johnny membership. This gives you unlimited access to all of our courses, plus you get to be part of our live monthly events, including our live Q and A's, our live workshop lessons. We do student assessments where you can send me a video and I'll give you personalized feedback. We do weekly challenges for our members, student collaborations, and we have a ton of fun. So go check out Piano with Johnny and I'll see you in the next one.